Hey, what's up, Horatio? Did you hear my tale of how I got back from England? No, it didn't. How did it happen again? Well, I got up one night because I couldn't sleep and found the letters from the king. They said I was supposed to be executed, so I simply changed my name with Rosencrantz and Guildensterns. Then pirates approached our ship, and I climbed aboard, only to find them to be the nicest people, and they took me back home. Whoa! That's crazy. Poor Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Nah, I don't feel bad. That's what happens when you get between me and Claudius. Hey, what's up, Osric? Not now. I have a message for Hamlet. Hamlet, Laertes has challenged you to a fight, and the king leans in your favor. Hamlet, don't do it. You're going to lose against Laertes. He's the best fighter around. No, I'll fight him. I've been practicing. No worries. At the castle, Laertes, I apologize on my behalf for my mental illness, for I've not been myself lately. I forgive you, but I still need to win this match for my honor, eh? Hamlet, I drink to your health and place this pearl in your cup. Let the fight begin. Okay, let's get it started. Hold on, I need to switch swords. This one is too heavy. Yay, Hamlet! I drink to your health out of your cup! Gertrude! <laughs> Whatever. Dang it! That's the second hit in a row! <laughs> oh, God, I got the drink! Come now, it's time to die. See how you like it. Let me see that. Hamlet, why did you cut me? <laughs> it's all the king's fault. Avenge me. I forgive you. Please. Please. <laughs> Claudius, I only have one thing to say. No. Hamlet. Drink up. Horatio, I am mortally wounded, <laughs> and I have one last task for you to do. I, it is up to you to tell my story, for the people to know. No, I want to die too, with you. Are you serious? You must tell my story. And Fortinbras must become the new king. <laughs>